Uh, you know, Lucas Oil is definitely the ideal place to race, dude. You know, there's other places that, you know, try to suck drivers over and try to go race with them, but, you know, Lucas is where it's at, dude. The tracks are unbelievable. The pits are packed. Everybody's got all their new shiny stuff out this year. And by the end of the weekend, half of it's going to be shiny and half will be junk. Got any pressure going on from uh, bringing home the championship last year coming into this year? Uh, dude, pressure, pressure in the world of off-road racing is, is always there. Whether it's pressure to win, pressure to have a crash of the year, or just uh, just make pure fun. It's it's always pressure, dude, when it comes down to racing. And you just got to roll with it. And the best guy that rolls with it always wins. How's it, how's it being a dad now? <laughs> oh, it's good, dude. Parenthood is good. He's in there chilling in the toter home, round number one, his first race. So a little over about uh, almost two months now. So he's getting super old. And he's still about that big, and it's cool to have my little boy out here at the race, and uh, it's just pretty unique, pretty cool. What's up, guys? How you guys doing? Where are we at? What are we doing? We're out here in Phoenix, Arizona, Firebird Raceway. We're about to get some gas for the tacos, so if you guys want to come by and stop and get some bomb food, <laughs> go ahead and enjoy life, because they're awesome, prepared by Mexicans. We'll be there. Okay, <laughs> see you guys there. What are your plans for the weekend? Win both days. So you're saying you're going to win over him? Yeah, any day. No, it's not going to happen. No? It's going to happen. What's up, dog? What's up? Just got done with practice. Brand new Pro 2. First time in the truck, so didn't know really what to expect. First session, had a couple little bobbles. We ended up like 12. And then uh, second session we ended up six, so that's right where I planned on being, really. That's where I wanted to be, so pretty happy. How was practice out there today? Pretty good after the second round. We just kind of shocked, shake the, the cobwebs off after the hadn't been that long off season. So uh, we got some new brakes, so we getting the car started out and things are coming together. So what are you looking forward to this weekend? Well, obviously I'd like to get out here with a couple podiums. You know, good solid finishes to start the season and uh, hopefully get Kyle get up in maybe a top five and, and I think that would be a successful weekend for the Hart family. Uh, brand new truck. Uh, haven't had too much testing in it, but we came out strong today. Give it all we got this weekend, you know, with this new truck we got right here. I want to get this thing on the box as soon as I can. I'm starting to feel a lot more comfortable like the first test today. I was like, oh no, dude, I don't feel comfortable at all, but take a step back and I'm feeling good in it now. The new Pro Light? Like purple? Looking pretty good. What are those bubble straps that I turned five? Dude, I would just get my moto back right there, just feeling like I was on my one stand or something, just <laughs> and, uh, throwing it off the jump, getting, uh, getting her all set up. Feeling pretty good. Just gotta get my confidence up and uh, you know, know that I can beat these guys. Basically, uh, we're just down in the truck, getting it ready to go do battle tomorrow. It's always a gnar gnarly race the first round. Th some 30 some trucks are just absolutely asinine, but it's cool, whatever. <laughs> so it's all good. We're gonna down in the truck and hopefully go go win tomorrow. You know, I think there's 10 of us that can win at any given time, and then um, you know, looking forward to racing with everybody and banging some bars. Yeah, 2012 brought the championship, bringing the number one play with us, you know, um, everyone's aiming for me, you know, the pressure's on, you know, everyone's been uh, kind of already saying it, and uh, everyone's been telling me the number one's bad luck, so I, I hope I can prove that, that that's definitely not true, because I don't really believe in that, that a number can um, bring you bad luck, I think everyone's going to be gunning for me, whether I was still 37 or whether I changed to one, so brought the number one out, I felt like me and the team earned it, so uh, hopefully we could, could back it up and won't have to change my number next year. Pro Light's a gnarly class as far as competition goes. I mean, there's a handful, a couple of handfuls. You know, there's all these guys that can win. You know, and they're competitive, and, and week in, week out, they're hungry. And, you know, we got these young kids, we got these guys that have been in the class for like five, ten years even. And uh, there's a lot of talented drivers out there. And so, um, Pro Light is definitely a gnarly class, and uh, it's a battle. I mean, you got to bring your A game in week in, week out, otherwise, you're not going to be competitive. What's up, all that super slow mo? I'm eating some peach cobbler. We got some southern style cooking. We got collard greens, beef tips. We got peach cobbler. Living the dream right now at the racetrack. Eating like kings. 